A study finds first signs of Alzheimer's may appear somewhere in your eyes. This may help in diagnosing the disease before symptoms even begin. Let's get to Dr. Mike to explain. Yeah. Wow, this could be revolutionary. Fascinating, yeah. fascinating. When you have a doctor that looks or uh, a, a, a optometrist, uh, 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 ophthalmologist looks in the back of your eye, this is what they see. They see what's called the retina. And this study found uh, that there are subtle changes. That's a normal retina. But, you know, the eyes are the windows to the soul. And what they are finding is that there are very subtle changes with inflammation and atrophy, meaning a little bit of shrinkage in the periphery there, and that may actually be early signs of Alzheimer's. Uh, it needs to be validated, but very, very interesting. So then when we go to our routine eye doctor's appointment, they can be trained to look for that as a sign possibly and yes. say have more follow-up? Yeah. That's if it, fascinating. If it truly works out, then this could be a, a, a really interesting, important way to early diagnose uh, dementia, well, Alzheimer's. Before symptoms begin. Uh, this is great. I, and that's heavily researched disease other than cancer. It's Alzheimer's yeah. that we're always trying to, well, we to have fix. To, we have to do something. The numbers yeah. are going way up. So yeah. we go to urgent care all the time with all these boys. So there's a new kind of bandage, but probably for people that have um, more wound care issues. Yeah. Tell us about the smart bandage. So this is too cool for school. What basically, these are smart bandages. They have a little circuit, and then they have a patch that you put on the wound. Now, this is mainly for people with non-healing ulcers diabetic ulcers, oh. pressure sores, things like that. And the little, look at that, isn't that cool? And what it does is it can release antibiotics, it can release anti-inflammatory medications, it can even give electrical stimulation, and that all is thought to improve healing. Now, it's very, very successful in mice. We have to wait and see if it is applicable to humans and, uh, but uh, stay tuned. We, we, we have a knife here. We're going to do a live gem demonstration here. Just cut me and we're going to go ahead and see if it works. No? Okay. Um, you no? ever see the movie The Predator? Oh, is that With what Jesse you're Jesse Ventura? About? Yeah. Oh, yeah. You're bleeding. You're bleeding. Yeah. But we digress. Got, I ain't got time to Are play. you going to give us a prescription for vegetables? Uh, I yes. love that. Yes. In fact, what they're going to do is they're going to put labels. The FDA. Do you know that diet is a major, major cause of disease and death in this country? And what they're going to do is they're going to put, for instance, a cucumber might have a happy face, whereas uh, uh, something highly processed, some salty snack, maybe not a happy face. Now, I don't know whether you're going to put a happy face or not but they're going to put messages on the packaging. Eat your fruits and veggies. It's a, well, now, let me ask you a question. We have some people that we work with in our building that are convinced that they can eat those gummies that have the vegetables in them. What say you? Yeah, forget I'm skeptical. It. Yeah. Forget it. It's like a, a broccoli extract in a pill. <laughs> Just eat the broccoli. Yeah. Come on. Um, so what's this about smelling people's body odor, and that could tell you a little bit more about them. What is this? Well, this study looked at whether smell can impact anxiety. And so what they did was uh, they studied uh, 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 people getting up close and smelling other people's armpit smell. <laughs> How do you like that? Is it like dogs? Do we have, do we have that picture? each other out? Do we have that picture? I don't know. Do we have it? I have a picture here. Uh, when people complain about their jobs and things, do we have that? Do we have the oh, smell? We're working on it. It's coming. Efforting. Um, Maybe. Maybe it, not. I don't it? know. So it's, it's basically it a, a picture. There we go. Oh. So when, look, folks, when you say you think your job stinks, Take a look at that. Yeah, it could be That's worse. what they do. That's a perfume factory in France. But the bottom line is the smell is. No, wait. Come here. Let me. See, I, I showered oh, this morning oh, that's and nice. put on deodorant. So yeah, it's yeah, that's a nice. Uh, no, no social anxiety there. Well, I'm relaxed now. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Thank you, Dr. Mike.